Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me and Merry Christmas to everyone. It is currently Christmas Eve, December 24th. And USGS has dropped the ball once again about reporting earthquakes there in the Canary Islands. In the last few hours, at least within 24 hours, uh, La Palma, uh, the, the volcano, which is supposedly dormant, has had over 287 earthquakes. Many of you know that the island of La Palma and about the uh, volcano Cumba Vieja, sorry for pronouncing it wrong, is a hot spot there in the Canary Islands. These are relatively all new islands that have formed. And here is many of the earthquakes that I have uh, mapped out that were listed on EMSC. Now, uh, the Canary Islands is where I first started my education and learning about volcanism. Uh, many years ago, on the island of El Euro, I was watching the earthquake activity that was happening there before its eruption off the uh, side of that volcano. And these islands are owned by the Spanish government. And back then, you could get live gas readings up to the second of what was occurring. Now, the eruption, luckily, from El Euro occurred under the sea, you know, throughout this area here. But the island of La Palma, there is a great threat that part of the island could collapse and create a tsunami thousands of feet high that would reach all the way around the um, oceans and the United States, thousands of feet high in a matter of hours. The island of La Palma has a very deep magma chamber that could rise up. The magma could rise up fairly quickly. Um, it does have partial melt, and um, the magma, as it comes up, is recirculated from newer magma coming from um, deep within the earth with these melted pockets of magma there on the island. This red line that I have mapped out is a rift zone of the volcano of the island and I got marked out different eruptions that have occurred 1949, 1585 and here is uh, Cumbre Vieje or Cumbre Vieje I'm not going to try and pronounce it I have a bad time pronouncing it um, <laughs> even English words but 285 earthquakes that USGS is not reporting and like I said this is a great threat um, yeah, if there is a collapse of that volcano of the island all the way over to the United States. Now, according to a paper that I had to translate using uh, Google Translator, they said that these earthquakes are normal activity. Well, I'm sorry, it is not. Of the 281 earthquakes detected between 9.26 p.m. on Wednesday and 7.01 a.m. this Thursday, that is today, 77 have been located. The article also says that most of the earthquakes between 1.3 and 2.3 magnitude, and they're deep, 30 kilometers. Like I said, um, La Palma has a very deep magma chamber. And going to the IGN.ES website, here you can see the island of La Palma. And we'll zoom in a little bit. This is the most recent earthquake that's showing which is a magnitude 2.2 right there. We also got another 2.2, um, a 2.1, 2 a 2.1, 1.9, 2.0. You can see the depth here, uh, 30, 29, 27, 35, etc. On Wikipedia, they got the uh, Cumbre Vieje Tsunami Threat. They have a page about this. It says the island of La Palma, in the Canary Islands is at risk of undergoing large landslides which could cause a tsunami in the Atlantic Ocean. Volcanic islands and volcanoes on land frequently, frequently undergo large landslide collapse which have been documented in Hawaii for example. Yeah, I've talked about the recent activity that's been going on there in Hawaii. Stephen N. Ward and Simon Day in a 2001 research article proposed that a Holocene means recent change in the eruptive activity of Cumbre Vieje volcano and the fracture zone on the volcano that formed during the eruption of the uh, 
1949 may be a prelude to a giant collapse. They estimated that such a collapse could cause a tsunami across the entire North Atlantic and severely impact countries as far away as North America, the United States. Later research has debated whether the tsunami would still have a significant size far from La Palma and whether the collapse is likely to, to take place in a single failure. With evidence indicating that most collapses, most of them, not all of them, in the Canary Islands took place in multi-stages events that are not as effective at creating tsunamis. La Palma, located on the African plate, is currently, along with Tenerife, one of the most volcanically active of the Canary Islands. And then it goes into the eruption in 1949, which started on June 24th, uh, the feast day of St. John. According to some scientists, uh, this volcano is about 70 plus years um, overdue for an eruption. And I was looking at other research about this rift and the different gases that come up and how quickly it comes up and how most eruptions on La Palma are on the southern end of the volcano. And you can see here trending, yeah, we got a lot of earthquakes going towards the southwest. There was a few that were fairly shallow. We got a magnitude 1.8. That was only 10 kilometers in depth. And those of you that have followed me over the years will remember that with El Euro, when the earthquake started to get at a depth of about 5 kilometers, they were going to evacuate certain areas, locations of El Euro. One of the reasons that makes this and the other islands so dangerous is that they're built up of a shield volcano from deep within the ocean. And under the ocean, um, yeah, it's very brittle, that formation of the uh, lava that's under there. The shapes of these islands are created by past landslides. There is one paper, it's kind of technical, if you want to look at it and read it, it's about the different melts. Um, but the last part of this paper, it talks about the uh, magma batches that were repeatedly um, emplaced within the mid-crust of the Combre Vieje rift system prior to a rapid transport of the magma to the surface. I need to see if I can find any of the current gas readings. This paper here talks about the importance of helium coming up. Uh, recent results reported in 2013 clearly show the importance of helium emission studies for the prediction of major volcanic events and the importance of continuous monitoring of this gas in active volcanoes of La Palma. Cumbre Vieje volcano, the most active basalt volcano of the Carnaire Islands, was built in this zone including the main, this is important, north-south rift area 20 kilometers long and up to 1,950 meters in elevation, with vents also located at the northwest, northeast uh, Padron, uh, show that helium is mainly emitted along both the north-south and northwest wrist, rift excuse me, of Cumbre Vieje. Zones of enhanced permeability for deep gas migate, migration Remember, it's got a deep magma chamber and routes for degassing. And this one paper shows past eruptions and the different lava flows and this rift system. None of these earthquakes, according to EMSC, has been reported by the residents that live close to where these earthquakes have occurred. Um, but I am sure they are feeling the constant vibration that's been going on. There's another paper that I found showing the model of magma storage and fractation under Cumbre Vieje Volcano. And here we got the summit and we got A, B, and C. So I'll look for the uh, monitors that they used to have, which the links that I had from years ago are no longer working for the gas readings. But I'd be curious to find out what gas readings are currently, what is the uplift, 
um, things like that. Yep, definitely 2021 will be a year <laughs> not good. If you have any thoughts or comments or um, links to things that I'm looking for, please provide it down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. Please stay safe. Uh, Merry Christmas, everyone, and have a very happy new year. God bless y'all. Bye.